Oh yeah, that thing. I hate it when it does that. Off to a roaring start. Read before playing. Can't. <laughs> oh, I, I hope it's not too loud, actually. Boop. And it just does. Yeah, I swear I still do playthroughs. Um, yeah, so, uh... <laughs> it's me, again, and, uh, like Rayman Origins, we've got Jason and Scrappy back. So, fun times. Shall I get the conversation starter ready, just in case? <laughs> okay, what the heck is this? Wait, what? Okay. Language select. Alright. I haven't actually started... Uh, I, I haven't actually played this version before, so... You just got this? No, I had it for a while, I just haven't played it, because I knew at some point we were gonna do this, and... Where the yeah, heck? it says country for keyboard filtering. God damn, there's a lot! Oh my god. Very considerate. I have to go, like, all the way down. Here we go. United Kingdom. Okay, now let's actually start the game. <laughs> This is the language where they had to put in a couple U's for favorite. <laughs> yeah. One century. One entire century of yawning and snoring wildly. It seems that the heroes of the Blade of Green are under the effect of a mysterious soothing power. For my little ones just needed to take a big nap. <laughs> Meanwhile, the nightmare is multiplied. They spread. They generated new demons, even more terrifying than before. Yeah, good villains, yeah. A glade of dreams is in danger, my friend. Go. Quickly, wake up our legendary heroes. I think that's Stephen Fry. Hmm. <laughs> it's I the only bit of actual voice acting in the game. Oh, look, yeah. I love how smooth that is. Uh, on the Switch version? Yeah. I'm not sure if, it's, if this... I, I'm not sure if the Wii U one was 60, but... <laughs> this definitely feels like that. I know... I know it's 60 on PS4. <laughs> <clears throat> Yeah, just back where he left off at the end of the last game, and also the start. <laughs> <laughs> hey, these are models, aren't they? <coughs> yeah. They just animate so well they look like sprites. Yeah, it's like the, just the whole um, drawn to life style. <coughs> so, <laughs> or whatever. So, yeah, this is Rayman Legends. Uh, how long? Hey, what's the gap between this and Origins? Like, in terms of development? <laughs> two years. Oh yeah. Oh, oh wait. Oh, they, it took less than two years to make this game. <coughs> the game. The game was ready for release in early 2013. Oh. Decided to be douchebags. <laughs> yeah. You yeah. Just... And then they decided to release it along a really close to GTA 5. <laughs> yeah. What happened is like they wanted Ubisoft wanted the game to release with, um on other consoles, and. Uh, that caused the game to get delayed to September, which is where GTA 5 came out. And just like, and, and that kind of killed, and that kind of killed its sales on. Yeah. And like, Same, I remember. Is this a phenomenal game? Oh yeah, I remember like Michelle and Cell's team actually to, formed a petition to release to try and release the game on its intended release uh, release date. It didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> but like, like that kind of like. Kind of goes to show, like, how much they actually, the developers actually, like, cared about this game. Because, like, the, this in Origins, you can tell, like, they put so much love into these. Okay, so this stuff is new for me, because I haven't... Oh, yeah, he, he's only played the Wii U version, whereas I played the PS4 version. Yeah, so, uh, basically... Uh, this, works, this works similarly to the PS4 version. Right. Whereas, um, Murphy will move automatically, and it's context-sensitive. Yeah. So like, you just press a button and Murphy just does the thing basically, whereas in the Wii U you had the gamepad and that made it so you had to like touch, you, uh, touch things so like the eyeball goes away or like you have to use 
pull back on the slingshot to launch Rayman and stuff like but that. But the, you know, the thing, yeah, the thing is though in the Wii U version, once Murphy takes control, you're basically controlling a different character. Yeah, so like these enemies are also not. I don't think they're in the Wii U version. Um, they're basically just instead of these ghost guys, it's um, eye uh, fireballs with eyes, and you just touch them with uh, the the touch screen, and they die. Mm. So it's you kind of interesting. I don't know, but well, so the... I guess I hear that the the, Mur the Murphy the Murphy touch uh, actually maybe there's something that we shouldn't be, we should know that we might not be doing in this game is the fan this is the fan of edition for the Switch. Yeah. So when, uh, so but, so the the Murphy there are Murphy levels like with touch levels, but yeah. in order to play those you have to play with the, with the undocked. <laughs> yeah, and. Uh... I can't really show the game like that, obviously, so... It, it, I, I do at, think... At, at, worst, at worst, we'd have to show them off, and we'd have to, like, do those off-screen. Yeah, the thing is with, um... It's weird, because I think both styles of play benefit for different types of levels. Uh, these, like, regular platforming levels, I think, work better with these controls, because... Uh... It feels like... It makes it a lot more precise and easier to move around. I mean, like, I mean, there's that, and it's just the fact that it feels like I'm actually playing, like, the actual game, whereas, uh, in the Wii U version, it kind of feels a bit like an auto-scroller, unless you sometimes do what I did and just awkwardly try to play as two characters at once, which doesn't work. Oh. I mean, it kind of does, but when you get to, like, World 5, it becomes a nightmare. You're talking about Olympus, right, Maximus, right? Yeah. It's like when you have oh, to, you like... mean, oh, you're talking about when they hold the shield above their head and all that. Well, I mean, look, it's not even just that, but like the level where you have to like run down and like quickly press all the things with Murphy, and um, also do the wall running stuff. Like that gets way too overwhelming really fast. The unfortunate thing is also like um, there's music levels later on, and we're not gonna be able to get like bonuses of Murphy. Yeah. Murphy, yeah, Murphy makes uh, a lot of the lum stuff like really trivial because um like he has his own counter in the wii u version and uh if you if he touches lums they turn purple and those are double and, yeah yeah and whoever picks them up or and, and, like he gets them too yeah so so it's it's just, it's so it's so easy to, to rack up lums yeah or it's um, if we're gonna be that guy yeah like um uh, I'd say, I still say yeah, Rayman Free said bombs. It just sounds better, but um, yeah. we're gonna really gonna do this again. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but like, I'd say overall, like this game does have some challenging. Uh, it, it's still a pretty challenging game, and and like the later invasion levels get really tricky, especially later on. But I, I'd say overall, this is probably an easier game as a whole than Origins is, but, uh, yeah, it's not to say that this is gonna be a, this is a cakewalk or anything, but I think it's a bit more generous with checkpoints, and, like, it doesn't really have a super hard level like Origins did with Land of the Liver Dead. Hmm. By the way, that kind of reminds me, are we going to be doing the Back to Origins? Probably not, because, um, I remember when I did this, I, uh, I did, I have done a playthrough of the Wii U one, and when I did Back to Origins, it was just basically a guest for every world. But since we actually did Origins as a full playthrough, I don't really see much of a reason to do that. Right. That's 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 the uh, that's the definitive edition stuff. Wait, what? Okay, I don't even know what this is. Murphy's touch. That's the tur that's the touch screen stuff. Oh, okay. See. Huh. It's interesting. I do like this, like, it, this is definitely the version you should play, I think, because it's the best of both worlds. Right. And it's also on the go, so let's just benefit of Switch in uh, general. At, at, um, you, you haven't tried this game on Docked, right? No. Well, I mean, may, maybe, maybe next session you can tell us quickly, just like, does it still run smoothly? I, yeah, I could try on. Yeah, I could try that. Well, well not right now, obviously. I do it next yeah. session. Yeah, obviously, because uh. I, uh yeah, because we, uh, cause we, we don't, we can't, we can't show the gamepad. That's why we're not doing. Uh, yeah. Like, we can't show. We can't show us on Dawn. That's why we're not doing Murphy's Touch. Yeah. 
I, I do want to try that for, like, the levels where, like, it's a massive chase or whatever. Or, like, you're just running away from a wall of fire. Oh. Because, like, those levels benefit the most from Murphy's Touch, I think. Because like, a lot of it is just, like, quick reaction time and whatnot. Uh, right, um, anyways, changes from Legends <laughs> from Origins to Light. Pr practically nothing. <laughs> the only thing I can think of is, um, the, uh, rain characters actually have, like, a walking attack. Whereas, like, in Origins, uh, you only had, like, the running move and, like, the standing still jab. Uh, it, it, it's not huge, but it does help a little bit. Keeps the flow right. going. Yeah, yeah, especially if you're not running all the time. Yeah. Um, what's it called? Um, but otherwise you have all your move sets, and there are no new moves to acquire. Yeah, everything you learn from Origins is 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 back here, which um. Yeah, that from swim from swimming to crawling to drinking in certain areas. Yeah. I do kind of I I do kind of wish that they introduce new powers, but at the same time. Uh, with the fact that you have everything from Origins at the start, it makes it so they can just do more of it uh, throughout the game. Instead of like Origins where they kind of slowly gave you them. Right. Uh, go back down, go back down. Okay, that's... Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that still never gets old. Yeah. Something's never changed in the flat stick that in the head doesn't, and doesn't, doesn't get... Nah, it never, never goes. <laughs> yeah. I mean, one thing, uh, one thing I like is uh, in this world specifically is that there's a real sense of uh, like time that's passed since Origins because, like, like this whole like castle and all that wasn't there before, and it's like this is the same area as the start of the first game. And it's just nice How to see. How long were we asleep? Literally a hundred years. <laughs> really? Yeah, they say like it's been a century. Oh. So it's nice to see like there's an actual p passage of time. Nice also to know that these four characters never age a day. Yeah, right. Oh, speaking of which, actually, that's another thing that but we'll, that we'll get into shortly about when I say four characters. Yeah, because uh, Origins only had Rayman, Globex, and the two Teensies. This game we'll introduces. See, we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll, yeah, we'll see. We'll, we'll we'll see them soon. Yeah. And like obviously the all those guys are still playable. But we, there, there's like a special kind of uh, actual fourth character now. That's like oh, I, yeah. Yeah. Uh, by the way, um, that reminds me. Um, are, is this gonna be just Rayman again or? Um, I haven't really planned that far ahead, but it depends. But like, cause like we only did the optional ever characters for the revisit. It's only cause I suggested it. Yeah, and like, this game doesn't have any of that stuff, so. Right. That's a good. Well, how many worlds are there? Um, not counting the uh, music world, I think five. Uh, let's see, normal one. Uh, let's see, this one, Toads, Desert. Um, maybe uh, we can do one. Maybe we can do one per world, but we can end the last level with Rayman. I suppose, yeah. And we get, um, we get, we get more characters by a, a cause they treat them as separate characters. By yeah. um, grabbing by grabbing more looms, I believe, and a grand total adds up. Yeah, it's like there's two ways of unlocking characters. Um, the like Rayman, Globex, and the Teensies are like from through the looms. Whereas um, and then our and our last character is we have to complete certain levels. Yeah, they're they're a unique, uh, unlockable. Uh, you missed something. There you go. There's just one thing I love about these two games that it just has a really good sense of flow. Yeah, if you know what you're doing, you can just keep going. Yeah. Oh god! <laughs> yeah! I guess nothing there. Oh man, we're not gonna get heart attacks like we did during the land of the little bit dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not this early on. <laughs> I just remember how many times me and Scrap were like, oh god. Yeah. Yeah, this game... Are we go, go ahead. Uh, this game doesn't have uh, any time trials or anything like that, surprisingly. The the closest you get is um, the invasion levels, but those usually have their own set of level designs. So Are, are we doing all of those? Um, probably, yeah. Uh, I, I, what, what I want to do is, uh, is get enough uh, teensies to at least unlock the 
the special world. And that, oh, more, wait, 826. I think that's a bit more teensy than... Yeah, I think it is. I think the original had like 800. They're probably they're like they're probably from Murphy's touch. Yeah. Oh, should we go unlock the character now, or do you want to go down the line? Uh, I'm just going down the okay. line. All right. But yeah. Um. How do you guys feel about the difference in level progression compared to Origins? Because this game does it like completely differently. Uh, it's it's a lot more non-linear. Yeah. Where well, non-linear in the sense of um, you and once you can go to the other worlds. Yeah, you can literally like uh, just go to like. Well, I could go to World Two right now if I really wanted to, and. Hell, and I, actually, I think you can get straight to World Five in the first level if you get all the if you get enough teensies. Yeah, that, that's how lot non-linear it can get. I don't mind that necessarily, but I. I kind of prefer, like, in terms of, like, and into, like, as a game, I think Legends does it better, but as a, as a experience, I prefer how Origins did it, because it feels more like an actual journey. Right, this is, this is, this is, the, this is probably the most video gamey video game I've played in a while. Uh, in terms of, like, Rayman, yeah. It's nothing necessarily wrong with it, but it's just well, because like, like there is a story, but it's very, very, very minor. Yeah, and that's like, this is like, um, like saying like Origins, Origins barely had a story to begin with, but like even that is like, it had quite something a, at least. It had quite a bit more than what this game has, which is basically, it's basically just like these e the. As far as I'm- The nightmares are, getting, nightmares are getting stronger, and then there's like five leaders of the nightmares, which are the- Yeah. Which are, because, uh, Dark- the, the Dark Team T's back, and yeah. he has like- and he has like four more. Yeah, apparently like- I- apparently like he cloned himself, like it's the same guy from Origins, I don't know if that's true or not, but I wouldn't be don't, surprised. Don't- touch those butterflies, that'll trigger the thing. Yeah, he like crushes you. No, it's actually the, the Mr- the evil Mr. Dark fan club. <laughs> I mean, it may as well be. I mean, they all look the same, so they could, they could. Well, they're clones. They are. That's the point. Yeah. No, I mean, all Tinchis look the same anyway, so who knows? <laughs> I mean, at fair enough, but I mean, at least they have like different costumes, like in Rayman Frey or whatever. God, this music's really good too. Oh yeah, this game also just looks really good in general. Oh crap! Yeah. Oh. I didn't mean to drop that. <laughs> Oh god, I just love how- oh, oh yeah, I just remembered something that's probably weird for you, Harry. There's mm. no heart- there's no get a heart in between the level loading screens. Uh, in this version, no, there, there is, because, uh, we've been oh. getting them. I think in the PS4 they don't. Because it loads a lot- because it loads instantly. It loads too fast. <laughs> I feel like that might actually be detrimental, because, uh, if you get a heart, while well, you still have a heart, you get five lumps. So, it's kind of helpful. Mm. I mean, I got a. Oh crap! Something tells me that might have killed it a little bit there. Maybe. Well, we only need six, so. Yeah. We're not going for all the gold trophies, though. No, that's like they they changed. Like like on the topic of uh, changes, uh, you don't get uh, teensies or anything from get for getting all the lumps. You just get trophies, I believe, and a lucky ticket. Which is new for this yeah. game. Lucky tickets or scratch off tickets that give you like little um they give you either another teensy, some looms, uh or and pick or um or or a um what are they called? A pet? The the, the weird monster things, wherever they are. Actually, should we show out the lucky ticket now? I guess. Yeah. You have to open the briefcase of with X? Yeah. Smack. Oh, that, that one's a good level. God damn. Okay, but yeah, this. You know, on the yeah, Wii... you tell me what I do here. Oh. oh, that's weird. Oh, okay, this is. Wait, is know... that. Are you doing that with both analog sticks? Yeah. Oh, because you, in, on the PS4 version, you use touch screen. You use touch screen. Mm. Or the touch pad. Oh, yeah, even the analog sticks are placed like. Their yeah. hands are placed like it's a. Yeah. 
I mean, it's definitely, it's definitely, I, I, I'd assume, like, on, on Doctors, you just play, like, the Wii U. Because, uh, that, that, <laughs> it's, it's a lot. Thank you. Yeah, bless you. It's like Scratchy Baby. <laughs> scratchy Baby. Yeah, it's a lot easier <laughs> to do that on the, on the touchpad. Okay. And dash. These are some of the levels I was talking about earlier. These are really fun with the touchscreen controls. Where you just go re re react quickly? Yeah, the character runs for you and you just have to quickly react to all the obstacles and just use Murphy correctly. This is a mobile game. Yes. It could make that a mobile game now that I think about it. I think they did make an Endless Runner Rayman game on uh, mobile. I could be wrong. I, I, th I think it was short-lived though, wasn't it? I don't know. I guess it all, I guess it comes to, re to how you react to like hitting the button and then moving Rayman. Yeah. Cause you gotta you gotta manage two buttons quickly. I I, I love I love these types of levels in general because it really like it's basically them the, like showing off how good this oh. game, this uh these controls are. Come yeah. on, Murphy. You, you did it again. I I thought he was just gonna let go of it. <laughs> okay, I have to press it again. Okay. Yeah, it's quite, yeah, like he pulls it up and down. I mean, he, that would be kind of that would kind of bad if he did if he did crush you. Yeah, I was expecting him to like let go after I like let go of the button. No, it's tap. I don't think we got the gold. I think it's like three hundred. Well, let's see. Yep. Yeah. Look at your three, man. Huh? So it's called Rescue Barbara because that's our new character. Yeah. You have this Viking girl it, 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 who finally makes a suitable playable player four. Yeah. And you can actually figure out who you are. And all the characters you unlock for, from stages like this are going to be versions of her. Straight up, Mark, this is more DS. <laughs> oh, you want you want to play as her for a little bit? Yeah, I may as well. Give her a time to shine, right? I, I love how in the Brain Scratch playthrough, it was literally just four Barbaras at the end. Oh. Was Ted, was Ted, was Ted mostly Barbara? I think so. Oh, so you, she slides on her axe, which is really cool. Thought she was, what's her name, Batilla? Oh no! Batilla, 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 Batilla isn't in this game. I don't think the fairies are in this game at all. Wait, is that is that like the very first fairy or something? Yeah, the one from Rayman One. <laughs> yep. She's adorable. <laughs> yeah. She's also badass. Yeah. Also, she flies with her helmet. Yeah, I know you. There's a. F Can I like? You need rent. You need. Yeah. Wait till Murphy goes down there. Okay. Yeah, what you gotta watch. You gotta watch Murphy for context sensitive. All right. Yeah, because I, I knew, I that's knew that was a thing to, there. That's gonna be weird for you to adjust to, isn't it? Yeah, because the thing is, like, I could have just touched the guy's eyes. You can tell this game was originally made for the Wii U. And it's getting yeah. Bad. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Actually, the, actually, uh, yeah. Because I think um, did, it, did this game release on PS3 and Xbox 360 as well? Yeah, I think. I know it released on um, Wii U and like uh, PS4 and Xbox One. Uh, were at the same time. I believe so. Well, the PS4 and Xbox versions came out later. The Wii U version. Wii was U. Sixty. Version three because Ubisoft delayed. Oh, okay. Yeah. So the it was Wii U, oh. Wii U, PS3, 360 at first. All right. So the PS4 and the Xbox and the Xbox One versions were later. Yeah. There's actually exclusive content to each ver and to each version. Right. Yeah. Um, oh, oops. <laughs> I thought that was a thing there. <laughs> well, that's probably that's probably what the thing is because they that uh that that guy was below was above the pit. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I love this song. Oh yeah. This is just this is may as well just be Rayman Legends' theme. How do I associate this music with Trine? What? I never played. I never played Trine. Murphy. Fucking Richard. 
trying is like a puzzle platformer which you play as a bunch of like wizards and it's a, yeah, it's a, it's a multiplayer game too isn't it is it trying multiplayer yes okay if you said something uh, you, uh, if you said something you cut out sorry Woo! yeah that was cool <laughs> Every time someone talks about Rayman in a Smash Bros. video, they're playing this music. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ah! Perpetual agony, Harry. <laughs> oh, God. I think, it's, I think the game wanted you to rope slide on there. Booty! And, like, quickly do that. Yeah. Like, do like a seamless, trans a seamless run or something like that? Yeah. Ah, uh, almost. Oh god. I had the right idea with that. Yeah. But yeah, the electrons are like nowhere in this game, either, so... <laughs> that one guy's just gonna watch his frenzy in agony forever. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, that was interesting because um, they um, is there a thing here? No. Um, what's this in? Uh, oh, Murphy, hit Murphy. There you go. <laughs> what were you talking about? I'm trying to remember. Like, I had a train of thought, but I just just lost me. Um. Well, I'm gonna talk about something else real quick. I forgot what it was, but um, yeah, going back to like Murphy like stuff, wasn't it like you, um he uh like when you're playing on the Wii U version, you're, you, there's like an AI glow box thing, right? Yeah, basically what happens is um I when you it's like glow box or something like that. Yeah, it's like the um the uh, Viking version. But, like... And he just runs slowly through the level, right? Yeah. It's like uh, oh, the um, when you press, when you have uh, to control Murphy, there's, you can set, like, the second character and it starts as, like, Sir Globox, wh whoever it's called. Uh, and you can you, change that. Did you just keep Sir Globox? No, I tend to change it for, uh, as I play through the game. Mm. It's nice seeing Murphy with you, though. Yeah. Oh, crap, I didn't mean to attack. Woo! Alright, that's fine. Are we gonna switch back to Rayman or are we gonna keep Barbara out? Um. What you actually, guys? wait, that might be a good. Actually, that's a good idea. How about we have Barbara be the first and be our first character? Yeah. Wait, she'll finish up the rest of the world, and um, if we have to do, um, she'll do in the invasions here as well. I suppose. Give her enough time to shine. I mean, this is the this is the most medieval uh, world in the game, so. Right. Um. Every world actually has two ver actually has like a number of two versions of Barbara to unlock, even though they're different characters. Yeah. Like that one right there. We already yeah, have. See, we already have. World, we already have. We already have. <laughs> we already have world four. <laughs> uh. Quick sand. So this this game, uh, like for the fact. The fact yes, that wait. it's um well, so we have these types of levels. It's basically oh, right. yeah, yeah, chase, chase levels, which are basically auto scrollers. Yeah. Um, just know that this that, that this team team is always the last one. Yeah. So well, you're technically looking for one less team team in these levels. Yeah, pretty much. But the environment is constantly like reacting, so you can't move, so you can't stay still for too long. You have to keep moving. Yeah. Oh crap. Gosh. Okay, just kill me. Or not. <laughs> yeah, whatever. If we just have an if we just get enough lucky tickets, it doesn't matter. Yeah, the lucky tickets are what matter more than the trophies at the end of the day. Yeah. Cause you need those to unlock all the other stuff. No including more team fees. Yeah. So the fire just burned them while they're having your victory pose. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah! Ah! <laughs> this you probably, en you probably enjoyed it. <laughs> Arbor probably enjoys it. Probably. Yeah, I can kind of see her as like someone is kind of like masochistic. Yeah. 
He just looked like Merida to me. Brave? Yes. Oh, okay. I haven't seen this movie. Me neither. I haven't seen a movie in a while. Have you have you seen Scrappy? That's alright. Okay, let's just check him. I know there's one I know what you're looking for too. Yeah. So it's running at 60 right now, right? I believe so. This feels 60. Well, yeah, we're seeing it at 30 because that's because that's how um that's how this kind of thing works. Yeah. Good go go Discord. go go go! Because like you need to pay like Discord Nitro if you want to be at 60 and screw that. But we have to. No, I have to. So, oh god! Okay. <laughs> I thought that was it. Because, like, there's a part where you have to wait for stru a structure to come down so you can get to a secret room. That's at the very end of the level. That's where the last- that's where, that's where the king's hidden. Yeah. I know where it is. Oh, mm. oh, left, left, left. <laughs> Yeah, I was, wa I was waiting for the eyeball to go away. Right here, I believe. Yep. Jeez please. Keep going. It's like around here. It's like one. Oh. Nope, not that. No, 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 no. Ah! Okay. There it is. Okay. Oh, I thought I was screwed. Oh. Also, the music died down because of the low battery. <laughs> yeah. Hold the chain to begin. I know, I know you just have to watch it. What are these guys even doing in here? <laughs> beating, up, beating up, beating up looms. Yeah. Well, they're, or, gonna, they're gonna the, die if they... Or the team. They don't care. Here. They don't care. It's just that or the team sees. <laughs> I do like what they've done with these, the bonus rooms or whatever you call them in this game because in Origins, most of the time it was just kill all the enemies and... Here they're more puzzled. Yeah, they're more puzzle focused. Or, pla or platinum or platforming challenges. Yeah, there's more vary. There's more variety. So the the, the the I mean, the most interesting origin Scott with those is like the rooms where you just did a massive Skull. dive dive bomb, or it was like there was an Angry Birds room at one point. Oh yeah, where you launch yourself. Yeah. And you just I destroy did. the structure. Yeah. Do the dance! Yeah. Ride it! Yeah. And thankfully this time we're not accidentally giving lums to the uh, magician, so... Because <laughs> that was the whole... We speak some pig Latin. Yeah, because that was the whole plot, plot of uh, the last game. We're gonna have to do that later. We, we stupid. Hmm. <laughs> 